Well, it's been said before, if you can't be good, then be spectacular. And on Sunday at the Summit Racing Equipment Nationals, Jack Beckman proved to be both good and spectacular in two tenths of a second. The two-time HRA champion who exploded the engine of his infinite hero Dodge Charger crossed the stripe ahead of Robert Height and then battled a fire in the shutdown area. Just another day in the office for the driver they call Fast Jack. You know, sometimes it's not the people that are spectacular in the battle, it's who's standing at the end of the day and we wore them out again today. I'm going to have to admit we're on a little bit of a luck streak, but we will take it. We're going to sort things out. We're going to test a different car tomorrow. I'm hoping that was the last run on that chassis. I can go home in my backyard as a show car. For Terry Chandler, for Infinite Hero, for our soldiers, for Pennzoil, for Mopar, for everybody that's on the side of this car and helping out Don Schumacher Racing and Don. Thank you guys. Love you guys. I'd like to do it again soon. If Steve Torrance was worried about how he'd top his super successful 2016 season, he might want to go ahead and begin thinking about an encore for 2017. Torrance drove his Capco Dragon to a fourth title this season, the 12th of his career, and Sunday he took down the number one qualifier, Doug Coletta, in the final round. Torrance eclipsed last season's three win total in only his sixth final round this year. Well, it's been an unbelievable year. The good Lord just continues to look after us and bless us, and that's all I can say. All the glory goes to Him because the amount of success that we've had, only He can control. So this goes off to the Capco boys, everybody at Redline Oil that supports us, Mac Tools. Heck, we had our Mac Tools car in the final. We just got it done. But you know what? We're leaving here with the points lead, and we're going to extend that a little more. There was a time when someone wondered if Bo Butner would ever win an NHRA Pro Stock event. Now, well, the big question is, who can stop the point leader? Butner cruised to a third win in six final rounds, knocking off teammate and number one qualifier Greg Anderson in the final round. What a, must, must have been a mistake or something flew. There's, there's paper flying through the tracks. So I don't know, but no, what an what a awesome race. Summit team, Summit's here, this is their home track, it's awesome, KB guys, and this, this old dude is hard to beat, my gosh, but uh, thanks to everybody at home, Jim Butner Auto, love you guys, Chevrolet, my kids at home, maybe come to a race and come hang out with me, so thank you very much. See you in two weeks. In Pro Stock Motorcycle, Tonglet stopped the momentum of a red-hot Matt Smith in the final round, scoring his third win in five races this season. I can't believe it. You know, that just shows you the team that Jerry Savoy and uh, Tim put together. I can't thank them enough for giving us this bike. It's been flying, and Tim's been tuning his butt off, and can't thank Kenny Koreski enough for, uh, for providing us the, the funding to go forward. And he's at home recovering from his surgery. A couple weeks ago, he got in a car wreck, and this one's for him sitting down on the couch watching. Hi, Suzuki Extended Protection, everybody back home, I can't thank them enough. Woo! Just like last week in Bristol, the j &A Services Pro Modified Final came down to a battle of the same turbocharged entries. This time, it was Shane Molinari turning the tables on Troy Coughlin, who was racing in his third final in the last three weeks. The victory was the first for Molinari. In the top alcohol divisions, veteran driver Andy Bull picked up his fourth career funny car win as he took down Chris Foster. Jackie Frick won the dragster division on a by run as Chris Demke broke before staging in the final. In the Lucas Oil Sportsman division, Sunday was the day of the double up as two racers each won two categories at the same event. Pulling off the feet first was Nick Folk who won the Super Comp final in taking down Tony Helms and then became the 22nd driver in NHRA history to double up when he beat Zach Running in the Superstock final. Jeff Strickland also took home two Wally trophies in beating Jeff Paperka to win the stock title, his 15th, and then sealed his second trophy in winning top dragster. Fox Sports reporter Bruno Massel scored his second comp eliminator win of the season when past NHRA Pro Stock racer Larry Morgan turned it red in the final. Rob Cropfield scored his very first NHRA title in winning the 990 Supergas category in his Vega wagon and got to enjoy the quarter-mile victory lap after Trevor Larson red-lighted. Chuck Watson saved his best for last as he recorded his first ever factory stock showdown victory by denying Kevin Skinner in an all-Ford final round. Over in top sportsman, Jeffrey Barker forced Ricky Atkins into a double one breakout to win his fifth career NHRA national event. And it was yours truly, Kathy Fisher, reaching the top dragster final round where I broke out by five thousandths of a second with a 599.5 against Jeff Strickland in my first NHRA career final round.
The NHRA Mellow Yellow Drag Racing Series takes a couple of weeks off before heading over to Route 66 Raceway for the K&N Filters NHRA Route 66 Nationals, the 13th stop on the 24 race tour. Make sure you check out competitionplus.com daily for the latest in drag racing news and like us on Facebook. This is Kathy Fisher reporting for Competition Plus TV.